Isolated severe thunderstorms continue to roll through the hill country and that severe thunderstorm watch has been now extended until midnight. Now here in the Austin area, all is quiet. You might look to the northwest and see some distant lightning. Temperature 82 made it to a high of 92 tomorrow. A cold front pushes through, so by tomorrow morning with the front to our south, the severe weather risk will be over and highs will only be in the 80s. But we still have a corridor of time through the overnight where we could still see some more nasty storms. Here's what this wall cloud looked like with a severe thunderstorm warned area in Llano County earlier, and maybe you spotted some of these mammatus clouds. It seems like every Friday we've seen a quite the mother nature show, and that's exactly what happened earlier this evening. So Burnett, Blanco, Llano, Llano and Gillespie counties have been extended with the severe thunderstorm watch for hail and high winds all the way until midnight tonight. Severe thunderstorm warning, it's a small one, but folks in the Willow City and Eckert areas, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Nasty hail. Good news though, the storm is weakening. Earlier it was showing hail up to two inches in diameter, now down to quarter size. Winds could be up to about 60 miles per hour out of this storm, and thankfully that hail core continues to get lower and lower as it makes its way toward Blanco County, heading eventually toward the Johnson City area with this storm here. Hopefully the warning will be allowed to expand. Spire. Heading to Sandy at about 1024 Johnson City at about 1046. I've also got my eyes on a couple of flood advisories, one until midnight for Llano County and another one out in Mason County because some spots have seen multiple inches of rain. There's still one strong storm near grit and just to the west of Mason in Mason County. Take a look at some of these rain reports, one to three inches in the northwest corner of Mason County. We've seen multiple spots from Llano down south also with one to two inches of rain and absolutely dry everywhere else. So let's try these storms, shall we? Areas that have been the hot spots, Mason and Llano County, Gillespie County as well, perhaps moving into Burnett County by about midnight tonight. The general trend, heavy storms out west, weakening as they head east. Here we are at about 2.30 in the morning, still Burnett, Llano, Gillespie County is getting pounded by the storms. They make it to Wilco, but they weaken. They make it into western Travis County, but they are much weaker and probably sub-severe by the time they fade down south through south Austin and toward San Marcos as we head toward daybreak tomorrow. And if you sleep in, you may miss the whole show because we'll probably see just cloudy skies for much of your Saturday. And the system at this point, probably not going to bring a whole lot of rain to areas from I-35 points east. In fact, some spots like out toward Highway 77 may see nary a raindrop. So we are still tracking potential for severe thunderstorms through the hill country. I'll keep up with those on social media throughout the overnight for you. Meantime, I'm going to see you kind of dreary, cooler upcoming weekend. Can't rule out a stray shower both Saturday and Sunday mornings. Next week, we see a warming trend, lots of sunshine and no severe weather threats. We'll be right back.